there's a device that I've actually been neglecting for some time, and that is the LilyGo Tea in Bed. And this device's goal was to be a Flipper Zero alternative. It's powered by, yet again, another ESP32-S3. And there are a couple of notable differences. For example, the LilyGo Tea in Bed comes stock with Wi-Fi. The ability to do Wi-Fi attacks, launch an evil portal, and do a lot more is actually quite useful. And there are a couple of different variations of this guy. The one that we'll be going over today is the actual first tea embed that came out. And since this initially came out, there have been different versions of the tea embed. For example, the newest one, the tea embed plus, comes with a CC1101, an RFID reader, and an NRF24. The original one, however, was just bare bones, nothing but the ESP32-S3, a micro SD slot, a small speaker right here, a Grove connector, a USB-C slot for power and data, a reset button on the top, as well as this classic encoder. Now there are a few noteworthy things about this guy. For one, if it wasn't for the Bruce firmware, I don't think that the success of the T-Embed would have been as well as it is today. And with firmware like the M5 Launcher switching over to LilyGo products, it kind of helped boost its notoriety. And just because this bare bones model doesn't come with a CC1101, an NRF24, or an RFID module, the pins right here and the Grove connector make it very simple to pretty much put whatever modules you'd like on it. Now, is it a drop-in replacement for a Flipper Zero? Absolutely not. Is it a fun alternative? Yes, it is. As of recently, there are themes and some sort of asset packs that you can actually put onto your device using the Bruce firmware, as well as a bunch of different scripts that really have to help take this to the next level. The screen is a thousand times better than the Flipper Zero screen, but this encoder is in the way. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna click it once, and no matter what, sometimes it goes twice, sometimes it doesn't go at all. What I'm getting at is they could have definitely went with a better quality encoder. I just, I'm not a fan of this, especially on how much it switches up. Moving on with the pros, I like the fact that you can switch out your battery and put different size battery depending on what you want to fit inside your device. It has two microphones in the front, these two little holes right here. The speaker is fairly decent, and you can get this exact model for $28. If you do choose to add this guy to your collection, make sure you get one that has a built-in CC1101. Don't just go for the cheaper option. And with LilyGo releasing devices like the TMBED Plus, pretty much it just makes it a beautiful modular device. Just make sure that when you're using devices like these, you're only testing your own hardware. I understand causing mayhem is fun, but just be responsible as deauthentication attacks, for example, can get you in trouble in certain regions. We go over different devices, IOTs, and variations of tech daily, so be sure to like and subscribe.